shortage of tour guides and other resources. Eyewitness News reporter Emma Goss visited the park and has more on the modern day challenges it faces. Emma? Dave Rochelle, Allen's Worth is a rare piece of black American history dating back to 1908. It was the only township built and run by African Americans to ever exist in California. Over 100 years later, it's a destination for over 15,000 visitors a year. Now, there aren't enough docents to keep up with all of them. From 1908 to 1918, nearly 300 African Americans came to live here in the town of Allensworth. It was founded, financed, and governed by blacks. Emmett Hardin has been an Allensworth docent for over 20 years. His father-in-law was the person who spearheaded the plan to turn it into a state park. I got involved because I would like to be in a, in a, in a, in a position to be able to tell our history from, from my from, from our perspective, the, self, the right of self-representation. He volunteers to guide tours for free throughout the year. In the state park system, you don't have enough uh, black people. Most of them that are are rangers, law enforcement rangers. Steve Tomey is one of two full-time state park interpreters at Allensworth. They're in charge of park education. Both are white. I would like to see more African-American interpreters. So this is the window that I was just sitting under. Sasha Bisco is president of the Friends of Allensworth, a volunteer unit that supports the park. I think it's, you tell it differently when you are African American because it affects you differently. She says Allensworth doesn't have enough docents, period. And because of that, they can't open all 22 buildings in the park. We have children coming in from um, Oakland, Long Beach, from all over. And to not have all of the buildings open for them to see is really Sad. So she's trying new advertising strategies to recruit volunteers to teach the next generation what this place is worth. The park is open daily February through June. Admissions just six dollars. Reporting in studio, Emma Goss, Eyewitness News. Now